Yo, Snapchats, let's talk about the attention economy and a little bit more about memes and how they're influencing our actions and who becomes president. <laughs> So we all know now that Donald Trump is the presumptive nominee for the, the Republican Party, so it's likely to be Hillary versus Trump, and that is insane. The amount of shit that Trump has said, why the fuck is he going to be the nominee? Well, my thoughts are it just all comes back down to attention. I mean, Trump, out of any other candidate, has basically had probably at least two or three times more attention than all other candidates combined, and why is that? I think it'd be really interesting to have an aggregate of time that humans have spent uh, either being exposed to the word Trump or being exposed to his ideas and thoughts and uh, what he's been saying. Because the irony is, even if you're a left-wing, um, kind of liberal and progressive, you're exposed to his ideas way more than any other candidate, even more than like their own Democratic candidates. Uh, think of like The Daily Show. So even though I'm Australian, I watch The Daily Show pretty much every day, and I watch like Stephen Colbert and Conan every now and then, and they probably dedicate at least five minutes at least every, every episode to Trump. And then there's like your own feed, so like your Facebook feed or your Reddit feed or say Twitter if you use that. Um, you can't escape the Trump memes, you can't, can't escape it. It's, it's mocking him, but it's still in your face constantly. So I guess the rise of Trump is another example of how we already live in an attention economy, where it's really about eyeballs and number of, uh, you know, number of minutes given to a particular idea or thought. But then I think there's another layer. So there's like the face value, like what you get, like the, the Trump, you know, saying his uh, offensive things. Then there's the attention layer, but the attention layer is really fueled by the memes. And in this sense, memes isn't the, uh, you know, the funny images you see online. Uh, the word meme is actually just like this idea of like an idea. It's kind of like its own entity going around and infecting minds. And we all know genes have a massive impact on uh, what we become, basically who we are and the, you know, whatever diseases and things we're actually infected by, um, and we're just the product of that, we have no control over it. Memes are the next layer on top of that. They, they have no care for what you think or what topic or even what the, the idea encapsulates. They just want to spread. They just want to replicate and infect minds. There's an awesome video by the YouTuber uh, CJP Grey um, on memes and how angry memes, basically uh, ideas that are very polarizing and make people angry, actually force them to be more replicated. So when Trump says something uh, offensive, it's, it's spread by people across the political spectrum. You know, the people who agree with him are like, yes, look at this, and the people who don't agree are like, wow, look at this guy, he's, he's an idiot. And you need to think of these memes as like their own individual agents. They're, in, they're, in, like, they're alive, basically, and they're trying to replicate and survive. Um, and if you, you know, if they fall out of your mind, they die. So they have an existential crisis. I mean, I reckon on a daily basis, I must see like jokes and memes about how Trump's going to be president and all the stupid stuff he's going to do. But the more you keep saying Trump's going to be president, Trump's going to be president, they're like, it's infecting minds. And then add to that the fact that we're not in control of these memes. The memes are in control of us. We're being driven by the memes. We think what we think because of our filter bubbles, because of what we see. You're thinking about Trump now because I'm talking. And then you've got to wonder what, what effects are like the Facebook feed and all, all these kind of filter algorithms where Because every, every content we see is individual. My, my Facebook feed is completely different to your Facebook feed. We know that, yeah? Like, for example, I know my parents have very warped views on Muslims, for example. Partly because they only watch the mainstream media. They watch you know, the daily news, they read the Daily Telegraph, and that's about it. And so in that sense, traditional media was like a, it was kind of like manipulating everyone, so everyone ends up thinking these same things, these same little filter bubbles. But now we're in a world where every individual is pushed down a rabbit hole. So for example, the Facebook algorithm, it tries to be self-learning and self-adaptive. Like, it's a very bottom-up algorithm. So when you start liking Trump stuff, you'll end up seeing more of that stuff. But then you end up, like, becoming very specific. And then on top of that, it's so easy to unfollow people you know, that you uh, disagree with or just don't like their content. If you don't like someone's content for two weeks, they just stop showing you their posts. And so we end up, like, just filtering ourselves into the and then what's really crazy, you can, you can see this happening to other people. Like, you can understand why they think a certain thing because that's what they see all day. But then, how, like, how is it affecting you? How is your feed affecting you? And you don't know. And then there's that evil idea of if Facebook really wanted to, they could coordinate that algorithm to change people's deeply held beliefs from one religion to another, uh, from, or to none, uh, and political ideologies. And there's some videos on me online uh, talking about that idea a few years ago. I used to call it Hitler 2.0 because it's basically like the ultimate propaganda machine. You can just tell the system, change their belief, and gradually over time it just feeds a new Oh yeah, and the whole two-party political system is just stupid because it polarizes people, which is, just feeds those memes. I mean, the angry memes, they spread faster. Um, so it should just be that, there should be a third equal option that's mandated that way. Anyway, I've rented enough. That's just my two cents. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I future. Um, I just think that the political uh, party and the president is going to be decided by attention and memes. The content doesn't matter. We're not in control of the content.